child advocacy and protection program at Children's Hospital at Dartmouth, which in short we call CAP, has been established many, many years ago and has been providing services, treatment, evaluation, and advocacy for children who are victims of abuse and neglect in New Hampshire and Vermont. The services that we provide focus on innovative, trauma-informed, family-centered services, including detailed, comprehensive psychosocial evaluation of the entire family, of the child, providing medical evaluation and treatment and referral for additional services. This team responds to all forms of abuse and neglect, including child physical abuse, sexual abuse, psychological abuse, and neglect. Cap, this is Kathy. We receive these calls from a multitude of professionals and agencies, such as uh, medical providers, uh, Department of Children, Youth, and Families in New Hampshire, Department of Children and Families in Vermont, police officers, as well as uh, Child Advocacy Center staff. I see kids when something has happened to them or may have happened to them, all the way from childhood to through adolescence. Um, referrals come to CAP to our nursing staff from various medical professionals and agencies. In some cases, we also do a multidisciplinary team meeting uh, with other agencies to discuss families and children and the suspected child maltreatment. The CAC is a program which brings together all the disciplines that would be involved in the investigation, prosecution, and treatment of child abuse cases. We work together as a team, um, which includes law enforcement, prosecution, child protection social workers, mental health, CAP medical providers, CAC forensic interviewers, and victim and crisis advocates um, so that we can work together to provide support for families during this time. A forensic interview is one that is done in a um, neutral, objective, and fact-finding manner. Um, we like to call it, you know, a, a dance between, um, you know, the art of meeting the kids' needs um, developmentally and um, being aware of trauma, you know, being trauma-informed. And then the investigative team, law enforcement, child protection, they take the information that's been garnered in, um, in this environment and they can, they can conduct their interview from there and that can go in lots of different directions. This, this place is really meant to be a safe place for children and families to come when their lives may have been impacted by abuse. Um, it's a space that's really friendly, that is child-centered and welcoming to families um, who are often in crisis due to, to concerns of abuse that might have occurred in their family. Um, our goal is to make sure that they um, receive the help that they need and the necessary follow-up services to work towards a path towards healing. My role within the CAP program is to provide support to parents as they are going through um, a concern of abuse or neglect for their child. In order to best support parents, I ask a number of questions to help me complete a comprehensive psychosocial assessment. I also help families as they interface with community agencies such as DCYF, DCF, or the police. I help them to communicate with them and to coordinate a safe discharge plan. Our CAP team hosts a monthly New England-wide medical peer review meeting during which we discuss high-profile and complex cases where any provider may request input, input from other expert providers. CAP providers and social workers conduct inpatient evaluations at the request of various medical professionals within the DH Health system for children who are suspected victims of psychological abuse, physical abuse, emotional abuse, sexual abuse, neglect, and other less common forms of child maltreatment. At the CAC we have the Tree of Hope, which is a uh, wall of handprints, um, and we have trees on the wall, and when a child leaves here after their interview, they um, are able to put their handprints up on, on the wall and symbolizing that they are not alone and that they've told their story, and it's a symbol of hope for them as they begin to move forward. Despite all the comprehensive services that we provide to our clients, only about 10% of our needed revenues come from health insurers. Over 70% of our expenses must come from donors like you. In order to expand and continue our precious programs, 
I must say we will continue depending on your generosity. Consider CHAD, Child Advocacy and Protection Program, in your donations and to look into options of becoming a sustained donor.